hello you guys welcome back to my platform and my channel don't mind all my seasonings and stuff in the back i forgot to close the um what's it called the cabinet <laughs> but um i just want to thank you guys for your likes your comments and thank you guys for subscribing and for your view and thank you guys for your support as always it means so 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 much to me y'all hear that that's a fucking wind chimer i want y'all to go outside and listen to the fucking wind and shut the fuck up um but I just wanted to make a video because um, I guess you could say I'm working, I'm growing through something. <laughs> and I just wanted to make a video, not about it. I'm not gonna get like too deep, but, like too vulnerable, too vulnerable and stuff because I'm honestly not ready to, but I did wanna make a video about it and basically about making hard decisions, making decisions that are hard, but knowing that we have to, knowing that we should, and low-key kind of knowing that like it will benefit us and it will be worth it if we make it um i think a lot of times when it comes to making a hard decision we can be tough on ourselves and kind of and depending what the decision is we can kind of beat ourselves up and really really overthink you know like i know i'd be on here and talk about anxiety overthinking and stuff but sometimes it's i'm not gonna say like my brain won't shut off but sometimes when things are really weighing on you have heavily you know it's just kind of like you're really or me like i just really feel stuck in a daze like i really just feel stuck or not stuck but i really definitely feels like everything is at a pause because it's like i need to on the basis of me making this hard decision i need to pour back into myself and kind of you know really go back into my shell and take care of myself because it is a really big decision um i think you know one thing i keep telling myself is like it's not forever or like it doesn't have to be forever um you know that things are temporary and like life goes on like five years from now i'll still be here just still thriving and still being a badass bitch so it's like you know life does go on things will always be okay um and just because something hurts or something is hard and something or like even me like i don't want to make the decision or do it but i know i should and it's like all i can really do right now and if you're out there ever made a hard decision or is making one or thinking like um you know it's really just about giving grace to yourself as you are working through it and as you are either making the decision or as you already made the decision but it really is all about giving yourself grace being kind to yourself and really understanding that it might hurt we might not understand how we got here, but something like there just has to be something bigger and greater on the other side. And, you know, I have to trust in myself. I have to believe in our, myself. Sometimes we feel like we like I be saying sometimes we feel like we need outside support or help and stuff like that. But sometimes like some stuff really is just you literally and it's really just about you but that doesn't take away from how hard something is or how something might hurt or how you might feel you know it just helps you to feel better in the moment but that's what it's about you know in the moment really really being present and taking care of yourself because um you know the decision is already hard and especially like i keep saying i'm spiritual so when my spirit and my soul and deep down inside i know and i keep if i keep like pondering on something or the idea comes back to me even now like i had this idea or like it came to me months ago but then i was just like oh well maybe things would get better i did think things had got better but then like i'm here again feeling the same thing so even things like that it's like you kind of had to follow it or me i'm like i'm just gonna have to follow it because if i don't i'm gonna continue <sighs> being in the same predicament you know so and sometimes it's so hard because like i say all the time like our inner child is within us every single day and every single moment and when you have to really make 
a decision, but your inner child is crying and doesn't want to. It's hard. Like you, I really, you know, you really have to be the parent and be like, I'm sorry, but honey, we cannot go. We cannot go there. We cannot go there anymore. And yeah, but I don't know. I feel like as I keep getting older, as I keep growing through life and learning, um, I don't know, like sometimes you feel like some things are the hardest things that you will ever have to do in life. Like me moving, I was like, afterwards I was like, this is probably the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. Like I could do anything after this, you know? And then after that, it was like, I was just heavily depressed for years and I was just like, okay. But then even then I was like, this was the hardest thing for me. So, you know, I could get through anything. And now I'm at like a whole nother decision but it's funny because like this time i'm not depressed not anxious nothing it's just i literally just have to really put myself first so but yeah <laughs> uh even though uh all of it you know your inner child definitely screams and that shit is fucking hard like i'm not gonna say taming your inner child your inner child but really really like doing things that's best for you and your inner child but like i said like i don't know especially our inner child they have really big feelings and especially if you're somebody like me where you care a lot and you kind of feel everything and you know um it's just hard it's hard it's hard it's hard and then it's like the emotion sometimes you know i don't want to feel the emotion but i know i have to and i also know that by feeling the emotion it's not the end of the world and i also know that by feeling the emotions and making the decision that like it's gonna be tough but it's not gonna be like i'm gonna fucking die you know <clears throat> so yeah i just want to make this video um as i said i'm not really ready to share exactly what brought me to the video but i wanted to make a video for other people who might need it or who might be going through the same thing because the shit is hard and like i said it really just makes you sit down like now i'm just like oh my gosh like if i can get through this i don't know and i just pray like i don't know what the fuck else you know like it's just like if i'm going through this right now what the fuck else like there's literally nothing else that really or like i feel right now like there's really nothing else that can hurt me i feel like there's nothing else that i can't get through like the same way i felt with those other things um but like i said this time it's in a different headspace so it really is like girl keep your head up and just keep going because i am doing an amazing job I've been doing an amazing job working on myself, doing an amazing job nurturing and healing and talking to my inner child. I've been doing an amazing job with following my dreams and posting on YouTube. I've been doing an amazing job with loving myself, learning myself and growing. So I am in a different headspace. So that's why I am like, hey, this is a decision that is just gonna have to be the best thing moving forward. And as I continue moving forward, like I said, I will learn and I will get better and things will be okay. And <sighs> yeah. Sometimes you really do feel pain that really does feel like it's gonna take you out. <laughs> or like I said, you feel pain that feels like it cannot get any worse than this. Um, but I think that's where I just go back to saying like pain, we shouldn't fear pain. And I know it's hard not to because when shit hurts, shit fucking hurts, bro. <laughs> but um, we shouldn't like fear pain or, you know, sometimes pain really is needed. And in order for you to heal, sometimes you have to have that wound and that wound is gonna hurt. It's gonna be painful. And when you're trying to clean it out, put alcohol on it and it'll spore and it's gonna burn but it ends up healing scabbing over the scab ends up falling off and then you have new skin or you know you're basically healed so even through our spiritual journeys or even just through our life journeys 
there's gonna be times where we are in pain and we shouldn't fear or try to hide ourselves from it but dig deeper into it and i think that's what i'm learning right now is how to dig deeper into it how to learn from it how to nurture it you know obviously that pain is telling you something how to listen to it how to how to embrace it with open arms because like i said it's hard and it's scary it's like i don't you know especially when your heart is broken it's like i don't ever want to go through that pain again what the fuck also i'm not bringing up my boyfriend or nothing please y'all me and my man is for a lifer so it's nothing to do with my boyfriend i love him to death so but um yeah it's just like when you're heartbroken or you really do go through things that really does fuck your mind and your spirit up it's like oh my gosh like i never want to feel this again like it, it just really is scary it is but sometimes you really do have to dig into that scariness because like i said you think when you just think about five years from now it's like i will be in a better place i will be where i want to be and just because i'm making this decision and it hurts and i'm in pain does not mean that i'm not deserving of everything that i want it does not mean that I am not worth everything I want. It actually means that I'm probably worth it 10 times more. Because I'm willing to go through the process. And I'm willing to go through the pain and the hurt. And I'm willing to learn from it. To get stronger. So yeah. I just want to make a video. As always with everything that we go through. We're not alone. So if you're feeling how I'm feeling. Like I said. I'm here with you. Bestie friends everything will be okay and please remember that no matter what you're going through no matter what you're thinking like i said i know things can be intense they can feel really really real but please just know that you have so much love and magic behind you you come from a universe that is just full of love and the magic so please just know everything will be okay and everything will work out just because the decision or something that you're doing is hard right now does not mean like i said like your things are not going to come to fruition it does not mean like you're a bad person it does not mean that you're not on the right path it actually means you probably are on the right path and like i said sometimes you just the hard decision is part of it and you just have to really learn to walk and step through it so like I said, I'm always trying to learn and get better for my kids. So that's all I can do right now, especially since I am getting older. I feel like every single day I get closer and closer. <gasps> Which I am getting closer and closer. But I feel like, oh my gosh, I keep going by. I'm like, bro, I'm getting closer and closer to being like a mother than not being a mother. You know, like when you're a kid, it's just like, oh, you know, I got 20 years. And I was like, oh, bitch, less than 10, ho. <laughs> so... But yeah, I'm always just trying to get better for my kids and stuff. And my audience also too, part of it, part, okay? I know I be cursing and stuff, but still. You know, part of my mission too is to help other kids, especially teenagers, because I'm not going to say, like, I hate when people be like, oh, you just graduated high school. Congratulations, life is going to be hard. Like, I hate when people say that shit because I feel like, of course, it's all a perspective, of course life will be hard like not everything is going to be fucking easy but that doesn't mean that you should be scared of growing up i honestly think that's the beauty of growing up and then the beauty of growing up is like as you continue developing into your own person and making decisions feeling pain going through things and and not even just pain but also learning things that make you happy learning things about yourself as you you know as much as you're gonna have those things that are hard you are also gonna have things that are and people in your life that's full of love light and fun you know so the beauty of growing up is that and the beauty of life is that you have both and the beauty of life is that you can choose how you react and you can choose which side that you want to be on most of the time and even though things are hard and stuff like i said you get to choose how you think about it you get to choose the thoughts that go through your head as you are going through it so please be kind to yourself please give yourself so much grace and if you really feel like you got to do something you got to take action for something that is best for you take it um one thing that i'm also learning is um i might have a decision but that doesn't mean that i had to immediately agree with it you know it doesn't mean that i had to immediately act on it it doesn't mean that i had to immediately know or really do it you know set it in stone type shit like no um you can have the decision it's okay to sit on it it's okay to weigh the pros and the cons um and it's okay to really just sit 
and really let thing let just let the decision or let your mind clear up on its own let your heart clear up on its own as you continue like i said as you're sitting just keep pouring into yourself and things and answers clarity it will come so yeah um things are hard but things are also worth it I think it makes it even harder because I feel called <laughs> bad to make this decision. But it's like, you know, like I said, it's like, are you sure? Spirit team, are you sure? Are we sure? <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Please continue enjoying your summer. Please continue putting yourself first. And please continue to love yourself, learning to love yourself, learning about yourself. Hey, whatever that means to you. Please continue living your life. <sighs> Great things are coming. Great days are coming. And at the end of the day, the day got to end. So take your time, work through things. Don't be afraid of... I don't, I'm not going to say negative emotions because honestly, I don't feel like it's negative. I feel like it's a normal ass emotion. You know, it's a normal ass reaction to certain things. But... um like it's okay to have heavy emotions it's okay to feel heavy emotions and it's okay to sit in the heavy emotion you know i guess that's what i'm just trying to say <laughs> so i love you guys please continue to let me know what else you guys want to see what other content you want me to make what other things you maybe want me to do on my channel i'm here for you guys um and this is ending around on time because the people who are cutting the grass and stuff are actually coming over here so yeah i love you guys please continue being you we need you <laughs>